the voice in their memories cried out, The mathematician has been summoned. This place was no longer safe. As the Trebum continued their voyage to the desert, they felt a strange sense of being observed. But this was not the cruel gaze of the cylinder and its servants. No, it was almost as if someone was trying to help them, laying out a path for them to find. The voice in their memories encouraged them to go forward. Was this a ruin? Some part of an old temple? No, not quite. Had the Trebum walked into a trap? Was their journey over? What was this place? Were the Trebum dead? If so, this was a very odd afterlife. Perhaps this strange elder could tell them what was going on. But before they could ask, the elder spoke. The Celestial Trophala have seen your journey and I have been told of your deeds. There's an old bond between our people, Trebum and Trefala. If you do not know their song, the Trefala will not recognize you as a friend, so I am here to help you as much as I can. The floating palaces you seek lie ahead as you were told, but they will be of no use to you unless you reclaim all the powers of our people, which the Cylinder has stolen. There is only one way to do so, by entering the portal that links our world to the dreams of the Eternal Cylinder. Servants, the Mathematician, is the Gatekeeper. He absorbs that which is of value to the Cylinder, and his master has become intrigued by the crystals that the Trophala wear as crowns. Find these crystals, and acquire the mutation which will allow you to appear as one of them. Thus, you will trick the mathematician into granting you passage. And now, I must return you to the land. There is little time. The Trofala are being hunted, and only few are left. May you succeed in your quest, for all our sakes. <laughs> The Trebum were beginning to understand that there was more to this journey than mere survival. So far they had acted only for themselves, but now they had been entrusted with a task that would affect many others. And although that was frightening, the knowledge that they were acting for the greater good gave them strength. Yes, these were the crystals that the Trovala used as crowns. The Trebam wondered what secret powers they hid. But there was little time to think about such things, as soon the mathematician would make his terrible entrance. Where was the ingredient that would transform their skin into crystal? It had to be nearby. was 
the Unifier. Now the Trevor would have to be brave and clever and find a way of defeating this dreadful creature. So they could claim the ingredient they needed to transform themselves. <laughs> the triangle-shaped objects that had fallen from the Unifier's head must be the ingredients that Trebum needed for the mutation. Now that the Trebum had transformed themselves, they would need to find the largest crystal formation in the area. That would be their best chance at tricking the mathematician into absorbing them. Once again, the Trebum had returned to the strange place in the giant's dreams. There were more mysteries to uncover, more memories to take back. The voice seemed even stronger now. Yes, yes, I can almost speak. Let me tell you your story. The song of your people is rich and beautiful. Before the cylinder came, each generation passed on its memories to the next. And so you learned to avoid repeating your mistakes. Slowly, you discovered the secrets of your world. You built great cities full of wonders. And then you sang to the stars to find others like you to share in the joys of existence. When you sang to the stars, there were many who heard you and raised their voices in song. Most are gone now, save for the Trawala, your oldest friends. When we heard your song, it was already too late for us. The cylinder was upon us, and there was nothing we could do. But we are not that different from you. We are also not strong or fast, and we don't have sharp teeth, but we are stubborn. The cylinder creates its minions from pieces of what it absorbs. So, we found a way to help you. All of us together, these fragments of my people, the memories of your ancestors, and what's left of all those others who shared our fate, a conspiracy of ghosts to sabotage the cylinder and give you a chance. There is more to be found, memories to be reclaimed and what you need in order to to but our families are fading being absorbed these moments of strength are rare i am i am only but the voice could not continue once more it was only a memory this artificial island on the horizon? Could it be what the Trebum had been told to search for? Could their adventure be nearing an end? With the knowledge they had gained, all they now needed to do was to catch a specific kind of fish, which would allow them to acquire the wonderful ability to swim without ever getting tired. friend resting on the island. However, they quickly realized he was not well. The elder told them, what a pleasant surprise to find a group of such brave little adventurers. Oh, I'm glad to see your faces before my end. I'm sorry to tell you that this structure will not ascend on its own. 
I was hoping someone might bring the lenses that power this palace before the cylinder came. But as I can see, you do not know of what I speak. But fear not. There are other palaces in the waters of this great desert. And resting in the golden dunes of these marvelous plains, you will find the hidden treasures that can awaken and lift to their majestic heights the Trebum palaces that were once the pride of our people. Seek the Trawala that guards my brother's temple. He will explain what you must do. I wish you luck. Know that my spirit will dance and sing when you succeed where I have failed. The Trebum sensed that something was roaming the desert, something that did not belong there. No doubt the Eternal Cylinder had once again sent forth its cruel servants. Perhaps it had taken notice of the Trevor and was seeking to stop them from accomplishing their goals. Half buried in the sand, a monumental structure made of glass and metal was gazing at the sun. Was this one of the lenses the Elder had mentioned? Without the knowledge required to use it, the Trebum would have to leave it behind. Seeing the celestial Trawala, the Trebum were reminded of all the many creatures that had fallen before the Cylinder. Somewhere out there waited an Elder, who did not know of his sibling's fate, and the Trebum felt the weight of the bad news they carried. What an inhospitable place this was. The air was suffocating and the heat was almost unbearable. The Trebum would have to make good use of their abilities to overcome the obstacles before them. But who would choose to actually live here? What terrible things they must have endured in the outside world. saw sadness in the Trebum's eyes and gave them words of comfort. Do not mourn for me and my brother. I wish only that my end had been like his. For when we act in the service of others, we become greater than ourselves without losing who we are. I was afraid and stayed behind, and I am lesser for it. But I can feel the tremors in this cave, and I know soon my brother and I will be reunited. So, 
let me help you while I can. You are here to learn about the great lenses that power a Trebum Palace. You may have encountered one already, but to activate them, you will need a special mutation. The key to this mutation is held by the great Gar. Three lenses is all you need, and there are many left. Follow the glares, find the Gar, and you will succeed. It is a task fit for the great heroes of old. But who says that ordinary little Trebum can't be heroes? The great Gar was neither a predator nor an immediate threat to the Trebum. However, obtaining whatever secret ingredient it kept in its air sac would be no easy task. For one thing, something in their memories told them that the sack was filled with poisonous gas. And for another, how does one enter the body of a creature that can even devour sandstorms? Thank you. 